Knoxville Mayor India Kincannon secures that seat for the next four years, this following the primary election yesterday. Here to further discuss the results from the primary is Jesse Mayshark, the co-founder and co-publisher of the online news publication Compass. And Jesse, as always, we say thank you very much for being with us. That being said, Indy Kincannon garnering 58% of the vote, her closest contender, 29%. Surprise here? Or no? No, I don't think so. I mean, uh, she seemed like she was in pretty strong position coming in. And honestly, she did have three challengers, but none of them were very well known, very well established. Jeff Tallman, who finished second, as you mentioned, he did manage to, you know, raise a, a respectable amount of money and, and ran a real campaign. But, you know, incumbents are very hard to to beat. And I think while Ken Cannon has certainly had her critics kind of from both the left and the right, I think she's also maintained a, a pretty solid base of support. And the, the results very much showed that. So we go on to the November general, and that is when some city council races at large seats will be determined, and that for municipal judge. Uh, what was your assessment based on the results from last night's primary? Right. That's one of the interesting things in November. Of course, the mayor's race won't be on the ballot at all, but we do have some really interesting and I think uh, what look like competitive races that municipal judges race, this is the first time that uh, Judge John Rawson, who's held that seat since the mid-1980s, this is the first time in 10 campaigns that he has actually been forced to a runoff against Tyler Cavanis, who finished a very close second. So I think that race is going to be interesting. And then the at-large council seats A and C also had pretty close uh, finishes in the uh, in the primary and so I, I think what you're going to see in all of those races is those candidates are going to get out and, you know, just kind of double down over the next two months and really try to, uh, you know, get all of their voters to come out again, but then also try to attract some of the voters from those other candidates who did not progress past the primary and also try to maintain public interest in the race once the mayor's not on the ballot anymore. We typically get more turnout when that mayor's position is on the ballot. So uh, we'll just have to see how all that works out in November. Yes, indeed, we will. Well, Jesse May Shark from Compass, we always appreciate you. And for the latest headlines, both in the city of Knoxville and Knox County, head to compassknox.com. Jesse, thank you.